When you see a healthcare professional, you expect the medication you're getting is safe. But what if it isn't? A deadly fungal meningitis outbreak killed 64 people and infected nearly 800 others in 2012. And a New England compounding pharmacy is said to be to blame. But it doesn't stop there. 68 people are blinded from a faulty compounded eye injection in Dallas. 41 people are infected with septic arthritis from bacterial contamination in New Jersey. 17 New York cancer patients develop fungal infections and two lose their lives. Compound pharmacy errors have been linked to 114 deaths and more than 1,400 cases of infection or injury between 2001 and 2017, leaving many asking, how is this happening? And am I safe? Nearly 40 million prescriptions are compounded in the U.S. every year. More than 7,500 compounding pharmacies exist here. Physician and biochemist Dr. Dina Grayson has joined us now via Skype. She says there's not enough oversight of compounding pharmacies. And, and Dr. Grayson, I would just ask you, why, why do you think some of these pharmacies might be falling through the cracks? The reality is, is that there's just not the appropriate oversight of these pharmacies. And they're being driven by greed. They're putting profits over patient safety. I think that for the most part, that pharmacies try to do a really good job for their patients and providing high quality products that are safe and effective. But unfortunately, the reality is, is when you only have a couple of bad apples, those bad apples can lead to many patients dying or having life-threatening uh, uh, injuries. And some of these injuries are long-term, such as paralysis. I'm glad you're pointing that out because, you know, compounding pharmacies, they're great when they do what they're supposed to do because they can create medications for patients with unique health needs, medications that may not otherwise be available. I see the problem a lot is that the regulation varies so much state to state, That's I, it right. seems like, that is exactly and I right. want your opinion on this. What is your read? What's the, what's the, what direction do we need to go to, to get better control of this industry? Answer is simple. We need to have federal regulations here, and we could potentially look at this and say, look, we're going to take, we're going to apply those federal regulations to high-risk products, meaning those that are going to be injected into some, you know, into the patient, whether that be the eye, the central nervous system, a joint, or what have you. I think that's a good point. The doctors. 12 years in! The prognosis you prayed for. For the first time in public, I want to see if she can take a few steps. This is so scary. The treatment you needed. You look fabulous. It's the daytime talk show that's been your cure for over a decade. That is literally taking the lives from their community. I can't believe that this is happening. With the issues affecting your health right now. It is not housing, it is not economic inequality, it is a health crisis. I lied to you, and I lied to you. I have a truth that I'm going to reveal. The Doctors, on call for season 12.